Hey everybody, it's Maddie here today. I'm going to be showing you how I do my nails at home and how I apply builder gel to my natural nails. So here are my nails from my last manicure. I had this little sparkly pink color and as you can see, they are grown out and I need to remove them before I do my next manicure. And I always remove my gel manicures with a drill, but I do know that there are some soak off methods to removing your nails, but I personally don't like them. I don't find that they work the greatest. So I've always just drilled off my nails, but I have just used a hand file in the past. Just I would take the hand file and just file off the gel polish that I had on top of the builder gel and then I would just file down the builder gel till I just had a little bit of leftover product on my nail and also if I had any lifting I always file that off too but I typically don't have that anymore because I do prep my nails very well now so I normally don't have any problems with that but what I'm doing with the drill is I'm just taking it and I'm just drilling off my nails and the drill bit I'm using is one that has teeth and I know that you don't want to use that one on your natural nails you only want to use that to drill off product like I'm doing here and also when I am drilling I'm going against the drill like the way the drill is spinning so that way I have more control with it and using a drill you do have to have lots of practice with before I would suggest like really filing off tons of tons of product because you can damage your nail if you're not careful with it so do your research on that before you just buy a drill and use it I may make a whole video on drilling your nails but for now this is just a tutorial on applying the builder gel I also did prep my nails off camera but if you want another video dedicated to pr nail prep and everything I could probably we make that but let's just get on to the application process so the brand of builder gel that I use is Beatles. You can get it on Amazon. It's like one of the cheapest gels you can get. And it happens to be one of my favorite brands of builder gels and just gels in general. And I've tried tons of them and Beatles is my favorite. So before I start applying anything, I always wipe my nails with just some isopropyl alcohol just to dry out my nail plate and to remove any excess oils. And this just helps the product really stick and help prevent lifting. The first thing you wanna start with is your base coat or their foundation is what they call it. So I just apply a thin coat of that on all my nails and then I go ahead and cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then we can begin with the builder gel. I'm using DO47 in case you're curious on what color I'm using. So what I do is I just take a thin amount of product on my brush and then I just paint a thin layer of that on my nail to create something called a slip layer. And this is just going to make a map for where your builder gel is gonna go when we add more product on top. So make sure to get your side walls and your cuticle all nice on this first thin layer. And then while that's still wet, go ahead and get a bigger blob of builder gel on your brush. And you're just going to flow the thicker blob of Billa gel just on your nail as I'm doing here like this and you don't want to really press your brush into your gel too hard because then you can create air bubbles and you don't want that. So I'm just kind of playing with it till it looks nice and gel tends to just level itself out pretty nicely so there isn't too much work involved. So just kind of let the gel work for you and just guide it where it needs to go. I then cured my pinky in the lamp for 30 seconds just to cure it before I worked on my next nail and again I am making that thin coat on my nail to create the slip layer and then getting a bigger blob of gel and applying that to the middle of my nail and I couldn't really show you on my pinky how you want your structure to be just because it's really tiny but you want there to be a little bit of a, of a curb on the middle of your nail and this is going to create a good structure in your nail so that way your nails are not breaking they're not heavy on one side and just so they look very nice so here's a picture of an exaggerated structure as you can see these nails are longer so they would need a higher apex that's what this little lump is but since my nails are pretty short, I don't need too much of a curve. And our natural nails do have a curve on them. So we're just kind of working with that. And you want to keep your cuticles, your sidewalls, and the tip of your nail pretty thin. So it's not too bulky on the edges of your nail. And the more you do your nails, the easier it'll get. And the more familiar you'll be with creating a structured nail. I also forgot to mention, but I am using this little brush. Just so I can use on the little details, like going around my sidewalls and the cuticle. Just so I get really close in those tight little spaces. This is not completely necessary but it's just something that I do as a perfectionist. And also once you're finished with 
one nail, go ahead and cure that in the lamp just so you don't accidentally hit it while you're working on another nail. Just work one nail at a time so each one turns out perfect. So let's go ahead and recap all the steps. Start with your slip layer. Make sure it's perfect because that's going to be the map of where you want your builder gel to go. And take your bigger blob and just flow that on the middle of the nail so then the gel will then self-level pretty much. And just help guide it where it needs to go. Those are basically all the steps you really need to know. And then also cure your nails in between each nail. And then normally after I've completed all the builder gel and all my nails, I then go in with like a gel polish, maybe do some designs or just paint in solid color on top. But today I was really loving this simple pink. My last few manicures have been very simple and I decided to roll with this. You can apply a top coat if you want or you can wipe off the tacky coat that'll be left over on your nail from the builder gel. You can wipe that off with some rubbing alcohol and call it a day. That's what I ended up doing. They weren't this shiny at the end of it but they turned out good and they keep my nails strong. So yeah I hope you enjoyed and helped found this video helpful. Go ahead and give it a like if you did and if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them and thanks for watching. Bye!